Good morning, everybody. It is Leanne Griff. It is Tuesday, 11 a.m., and it's time for my weekly free class. So hopefully I'll have a few people joining in today. We will let me sync up my laptop so I can watch comments. Let's see. So let me know you're here, where you're from. If it's your first time here, for sure. There we go. A little bit crooked. Let's see if that does it. <laughs> of course, it takes a little bit for it to change on my screen to see if that helped or not. I don't like being crooked. It's, it's uh... oh, I think I did it worse. There we go. Is that better? <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in and saying hello. I'm just looking at my screen to see if that fixed it or if it's still crooked. And it takes so long to, to populate. I'm going to try that. cameras. <laughs> Hold on. I just, I, like I said, I just don't like it when it's crooked. So I have a feeling my stand is wonky and that's making everything wonky. That seems better. We're just going to have to go with it because I don't want to take all day fiddling with that. Okay, all right, I have lots to share. It is new catalog or holiday catalog time starting tomorrow. So how many of you have your new catalog in your hand already? And we get to order it. Everybody can order from it starting tomorrow, the 6th of September. So luckily, demonstrators can order early. So we can share and get you um, excited about the new products. Um, I'm glad that a lot of you are. I've had some, quite a few um, in, people interested in my catalog share. And Kathy, I see you're on. I got your email. I haven't responded yet. I will send you a PayPal, PayPal invoice. Um, my holiday paper share includes 15 different um, designer papers, including specialty papers. And I got an email from somebody that said, I forgot the end. Yes, I know. I realize that now. Of course, it's on here. So I'll have to correct um, and just put a little strip over there to re to correct my little autumn mistake. But these are just some of the papers that will be in my uh, paper share. A lot of them I already started um, putting on my display boards. So I don't have access to them easily right now. Um, I have... Well, before I, I go on to that. So if you're interested in 80 sheets of six by six of all of the new designer papers in the holiday catalog, let me know and I will send you a PayPal invoice. Some people prefer to send a check. Um, I do have to wait for that to clear. You can also send a, um, a money order <clears throat> or if you want to give me your credit card information, I can do that too. Yes, I'm still crooked. Gosh. It's going to drive me crazy today. How's that? I'm going to scoot this over just a little too. Um, oh, wrong way. Yikes. I do not like being crooked. I wonder what the deal is. Sorry, I just can't stand it. <laughs> oh, there. Maybe that's going to do it. Okay. All right. So, yeah. It, let me know this. I have one share fill kathy you were the last person on this first share that to fill it and so we're starting another share as they fill i start ordering takes at least two weeks for um a, a share to fill by the time i order and then cut them all and send them to you and it's thirty dollars plus seven dollars shipping and that includes tax and shipping from stampin up so let me know if you're interested in that um, i don't do that forever it only lasts oh a good um a good probably most of September it will go through 
Now I do want to say to those people who are near me in Minot, I have my big holiday catalog open house and it's a BOGO. So how that works is I have, I have many, many boxes of retired items from the last, how did I make that even worse? I thought on my camera it's better, but okay, we'll try. Um, I'm gonna drive you all crazy and you're gonna stop watching my video. <laughs> I'm gonna quit now. All right. Um, so the BOGO, how that works is I priced my BOGO, my retired items at mostly full price. People local who come and shop the, the retired items, so say they choose $50 in retired items, they then get $50 from the annual or the holiday catalogs for free. We do add tax and shipping onto that, but you're getting, basically you're getting the retired items free for placing an order. But you first you pick out what you want and then you know how much items you get free out of the holiday catalog or the annual catalog or even clearance rack or online exclusives, it does not matter as long as it's in order. So, um, oh good, thanks Barbara, your check's in the mail, I appreciate that. Um, so, how, um, I know that a lot of you who are long distance, which most of you are like, oh shoot, I can't come. Well, what's left over, and believe me, there will be a lot left over because I've already heard that quite a few of my locals cannot attend in person. So then I'm going to do mystery boxes. So the mystery boxes, how that works is I make sure every priority box and their big boxes has at least $150 to $200 in value in products of that value. So what I ask you to do is put in a $100 order and you get that mystery box for free. So I will be giving more information on the mystery box next week. Um, whether I, I'm hoping to get the mystery boxes filled on Sunday or Monday, and then I can share with you how that works on Tuesday. So you don't know what's in them. I don't even know what's in them. I stack up designer paper, uh, stamp sets, bundles, punches, dies, uh, ribbons, embellishments, and I, I make sure all of that is at least 150 and more, more than likely close to $200 in value. And you, I just seal them up. And so they just get stacked. And when I get a $100 order and you say you want the mystery box, you get that for free. I do ask for, I think it's $11 in shipping towards that too. So, so we have to get the shipping paid for as well. But it's a great deal. And I know last year people loved their mystery boxes. So that's how you long distance people can um, take advantage of my retired sale. So my BOGO sale or mystery box, whatever. <laughs> Okay, specials this month. I am offering a basically a card kit, lots of matching cards and envelopes with some die cuts, some uh, some embellishments, and some let's see, what do we call these uh, memories and more cards. So kind of a card uh, mystery card packet that you get a bunch of items in the mail for free for placing a fifty dollar order. 55, I'm sorry, that's my host code. If you use the host code, please. And that's my website to order from. So that's what I'm giving for a gift for my online orders. Oh, I'm so sorry, Edie, that your mom has been ill. Uh, it's so hard when your family members are ill. My friend, uh, Mary, who I've been helping take care of is back in the hospital again. She got out within a day she fell and she's back in and it's just been such a rough patch for, for her, and so I do understand. Um, yeah, all right, so let's do into door prizes. So this week, one of my door prizes was the um, the leaves, let's see, these are called <laughs> uh, Leaf Label and Amber Gems, and that's for sh uh, commenting, and then for sharing, it was a pack of five fun fold cards. So the winners are, and I didn't see, see them on yet today but they are Nancy Myers and Karen Greenlee so congratulations Nancy and Karen I will be sending these to you for commenting and sharing on last week's video so awesome okay so next the door prizes for this month is a pack of pearl basic jewels and the bloom by bloom stamp set and this is a photopolymer stamp set that is just really fun to create with. I created a bunch of cards a few 
if you go to my blog, there's a search. And if you type in the Bloom by Bloom, you will see the um, some options coming up on what I did with it. But there's a lot on the internet. Did you know, just a, a little FYI for those of you who have maybe have a stamp set or designer paper and like, I don't know what to do with it. Go to Google and in the little search box, put the name of the designer paper or the stamp set and put Bloom by Bloom and just hit. And then at the top, there's an images option. Then you click on images and you will see quite a few different um, images and projects that you can do. Now, this is just on your computer um, under Google. So that's how I find a lot of inspiration on things. I'm like, well, what did they do with that stamp set? And so I Google it and just type in the name and go under images. That's the secret. Okay, what else? Um, no, don't forget, like tomorrow the holiday catalog starts, so you can use my host code and that and get a free card kit. Uh, designer paper, there actually tomorrow as well, there is a, a new designer paper um, options on the online exclusives. There are five brand new papers coming out tomorrow. And of course they don't have them because nobody could order them until tomorrow, September 6th. So um, that's gonna be really exciting. They are not going to be included in my designer paper share because they are while well supplies last. So it, I would definitely go to the online exclusives. Um, there's some fabulous papers um, in there. Okay, let's start creating. So I'm gonna play with the horse and sleigh bundle today. So this is an online exclusive. There are a lot of products if you um, haven't ever go, gone to um, shopwithleanne.com and just click on menu or online exclusives and you will see a ton. There's there's probably at least 40, 50 items that are not in the catalog that you could be missing because um, they a lot of them are while supplies last. Some they reorder, others they do not. So yeah, you are kind of playing with... Um, a roulette game where you may win, you may not, but yeah, don't wait on some of these. Okay, so I don't think I've shared these before. I looked on my videos and I, I thought I had, but I think I'd saved them because we made these at a team meeting and they were also for one of my um, kits to go. Now I no longer have um, this kit to go, but you can get the tutorial if you want. So I love this card fold for using, uh, for creating a scene with some of these beautiful uh, papers that we have. So I am featuring the One Horse Open Sleigh paper. And here's, let me try and fan fold these so I can show you. This is an online exclusive as well. It's kind of a wintry uh, scene, but not totally. And I, I think it was a kit to go uh, in August, maybe even July. I can't remember which month I did that. I'm missing some because I've used a lot of it but I want to show you this fold now this is the scene so if you're on your phone and you want to screenshot this is the time to take one because there is the measurements and everything um, listed there for you so when you're creating this card you will score your uh, card stock card base at one and a half and four and a quarter Okay. All right, so we're just going to, it's such a quick card too, once you get this scoring out of the way. When you cut your paper, you will start out with a full um, six inch, but it's only like, I don't think that's quite right. No, this is it. It's only five and a half, five and a quarter inches tall. So for example, if we were going to do this one, first I would cut off probably the top three quarters of an inch because then I'm at five and a quarter. Then I would cut the first piece, start with your piece that tall, six inches wide, make your first cut two and three quarters from the left edge, okay? So two and three quarters. Then from that, you would cut another piece, one and an eighth, and that's that piece. And then this is your leftover. So it starts out a full six inches wide and what's, what's unique about this is that this doesn't go over here, it goes here. So when it opens, um, it creates that seam. So in this piece gives a perfect 
um, one eighth inch on all edges. Okay, then when you open this up, this piece goes there. It, it, I just love it for our beautiful scenic papers. It would be great with the All About Autumn pa uh, paper as well. This one I don't know my, my um, parameters on as well since I have an open spot. And I could have put my white on first, but I didn't. Okay. All right, and then the white piece is one and three quarter wide. See how that just works out so perfectly? Just love this fold. And it's not something that they don't know how to do. Where some fun folds are like, well, do I have to pull this or slide that or whatever? How do you, how, what do you do? And so this one's just an easy, beautiful, and the inside is as beautiful as the front. So, and I like to have a little bit, of, I'm gonna have to use my bone folder again on this because it's wanting to pop. There we go. Okay, so now just a greeting. And depending on where your designer paper, the scene is, you can put your, your tag anywhere. So I'm going to stick with a thank you. These are extra cards, and I like to send thank you cards. Yes, this is great, a great card for guys. That's uh, kind of where I tend to go to when I make guy cards is scenes. I mean, every now and then there, we have a golfing set or a sports set or something, but um, I just think scenes, trees um, are a great way to go. Okay, so that is our tag. Now, a little lesson in tags. Now, this is from the tags, um, tailor-made tags dies. There are six different sizes of tags. When you're doing a, a, a ribbon, like this, now this is our bordered navy ribbon. You always put the fold, see how I folded it right in half, through the front. The fold is through the front. And I, I help people remember that by, they both start with F. So fold and front, so fold and front. Now when you're tightening this, make sure you make your loops uh, where you want them. I want that nice fold on the front. And so once you get it tight enough, you have to start pulling each piece, each end or tail, so you don't pull through the hole. Don't, don't keep pulling both because um, you, <laughs> you may regret it and pull right through the tag. Okay, I'll shorten this just a little bit. Okay, all right, and then I think I'll pop it up and I think this time I'm gonna go, well, I like the little red bits here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with up there. We'll add just a couple dimensionals. And then you can, and it's okay if the ribbon sticks out because if you're sending that, you can just kind of loop that over if you're sending it in the mail. So I did not do anything in the inside because I would write in there or not. So these are, the adhesive backed snowflakes that are in the online exclusive and they have kind of like a copper or basically they're, they call it Cajun craze and gold and white. So I think gold works fine on this card because of the yellows. So that's what I'm going to do. Save the white when I really need white. And maybe I'll just put one right there and just call it good. Okay, that's the first card. I have two more to share with you. I called it a three-piece scene card. I don't know, maybe there's a better name, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Okay, so sticking with um, Misty Moonlight, we're going to make a double flap card. And here are my pieces. Okay, so I have two of them because as you can see, oh, they're a little bit different. So this is one full six inch piece of paper. So let me see if I can find something that would work like that. So this one right here. So you could cut that into six inches by five and a quarter tall. And then you get two pieces. So it's a great use of your six by six. This, yeah, these, this paper is perfect for sympathy cards. You're right, Connie. 
Um, okay, so this basically is called a double flap card. So once you flip open the, it's also pretty intuitive for your, your um, recipient. You just flip that open and it's a double flap card. Now it does not stand up. Well, it does kind of, but the flap kind of, kind of hangs out a little bit. So um, it, I know some people put them on their fridge, on their mantle. Um, all right, so the base of the card is uh, the quarter sheet, four and, a, four and a quarter by five and a half. This flap piece is, let's see, three and a quarter by 11. So that gives a three inch piece right on here. So I'm gonna adhere that right now. Hopefully I didn't get too outside. Sometimes if I get too close, I will just slide that glue right down as I had my piece. Okay, now you can't adhere this until you get your flap down. But first, this is how I do, we, we have a banner punch. I'm just gonna see how short I want that, not too short. So what I do when I want a banner is I just snip down the center, then you simply make a cut to that center point and you have a banner. Okay, so this banner, I guess I want this to be about there. Let's just, okay, about that far. So about an inch above. So put your adhesive, I don't want anyone to feel this on the back of their card. So I like to hide my ends for say banners or pieces underneath things. See how that works? So it's this end is hidden. It's much, much more finished when you don't have something on the back of the card that they feel. And you know, I just make up the names. You probably know that if you watch me regularly. It's just, I just have to come up with a name for a card, so I just come up with my own version. <laughs> Uh, somebody can, I'm sure there's many names. I'm sure a lot of people do that. There's probably many names for, for cards that people make. They probably do the same thing. Just getting that centered. Okay, so these dies right here are from the Something Fancy dies. Okay, now inside, I'm not gonna put anything on the inside. I'm just going to add my white layer. And that has a nice one eighth inch. It's three inches by five and a quarter, same as the designer paper. Okay. And I likely have to use my bone folder on that, make that stay flat. Okay, for our greeting, I put together, because I wanted thank you cards. So I put together um, this from this stamp set. This is where I got the greetings for these. Lasting Joy, one of my favorites. So Misty Moonlight, just wanna be sure it's as straight as I can get it. I'm so thankful always. So that works perfectly for thank you cards, which is what I'm after. Now, I guess what I did before, instead of a ribbon, which I could do, we'll see how I, what I wanna do. This is our, um, Oh, not thread, that's in the annual catalog. I could, in fact, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna remind you um, what, I, what I do when I wanna do a, you probably all see me do this quite a bit. So we're going to make a little loop and hopefully I have enough, it looks like I do, and just press my loops right on this, sticky seal and then so I because I want it popped up I add dimensionals and you have to cover over that stickiness or your dimensions will not will not work it'll go flat on you in certain places so I probably use more dimensionals than I normally would okay there's the card and then we will finish with just a few snowflakes Start with the big one. And there is a medium one. 
And then we'll get to the tiny, the small one. We'll put that one, hmm, uh, right down there. Okay, that card's done. Aren't these simple? Once you get the cutting finished or done, it's, it's quite easy to do. So this is Misty Moonlight with Boho Blue are the colors. Okay, and last, I have one more, and this one is a spanner card. Do you remember what a spanner card is? I'm pretty sure this is the correct name. There's probably, some people call it a double spanner, but that's how they open. So this is another fairly easy card. I'm gonna show you how this one is cut. And I have two versions. One has two uh, trees and one has one. Now all of these cards, I am not going to have a project sheet for these because they were all in a tutorial and a kit to go. So the tutorial, oh, this one was cut wrong. That is interesting. I'm fairly sure it's cut wrong, we'll see. Well, how did I do that? And let me see if I think I have another one. Hold on a minute. Hmm. I thought I had another one. You know, I do not. Well, this is interesting. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'll show you from a scratch. Right color? Well, probably not, but it's gonna work. I think this is granite and this is smoky steak. I don't wanna take any more time. Okay, so starting from scratch, you will score your, your cardstock at four and a quarter. There's your five and a half by eight and a half. Then you go to your paper trimmer and you put this at one inch. Now there's the one inch mark, right? Oops right here, so put that at one inch. I actually like to start with my cutting blade on the score line and then cut down. Okay, now on this one, one inch on the other side. You could flip it, but I don't. And move your scoring blade so the notch is right in the center and score down. So, oh, and guess what I did? <laughs> it wasn't one inch, it was supposed to be one and a quarter inch. Well, <laughs> how many times can I mess up on a video? So anyway, these now would be right there. So I guess I can't finish this card because I messed up. But you get the gist. You're going to glue those down here. Then you stamp your greeting. Actually, you don't, you don't glue those yet. It depends on how you want this. So that's the top. No, no, I want to do it this way. You stamp your greeting, and this is the wrong piece, so it goes right in here, because this, yeah, and then this, oh, it's so hard to explain, will go up. There we go. Now you see what I'm doing. Too bad I can't make this, and so because I cut those at one inch and not one and a quarter, this doesn't work. See what I mean? So you're going to stamp your grating, add it here, only glue it to here and here. Then add your pieces. Uh, where's my other one? Oh, here, it slid off. And then when you open this up, those stay and your grating comes up with it and reveals the inside. Okay, so what I did on these trees, these trees are part of the die cuts. Let me turn this over so you can see. Part of the die cuts. I actually used a bl blends marker, brown and a gray to add some color to the trees. I thought they were just a little bit naked, all white, but they would really be fine, all, all white as well. So just to, actually three trees would be really pretty on there, wouldn't it? So that's a spanner card. But anyway, you have the right measurements. If I would have just read my directions when I was cutting, I would have been able to finish this card. <laughs> but, 
but that's what happens on live video. So we get what we get, but you get the gist. <coughs> Excuse me. The inside is stamped with one of the uh, trees in the um, horse and sleigh bundle. So pretty greetings as well. So this is online exclusive with the dies that match. So there's a tree, there are some uh, snow hills or mountains, and there's a sleigh and the tree and lots of different things in this set. So this, that is a spanner card. I'll have to cut a new one to use all my pieces the, the correct way this time. Okay, so that is it for my three fun pulled cards. Let me just grab them all. If you just joined in, we made a scenic three piece card, a double flap card, and a spanner card. Okay, so those are this whole tutorial plus two more cards is on my flower bug shop if you're interested. And it does feature the uh, horse, no, one horse open sleigh designer paper, which is beautiful. Lots of, lots of scenes. And the other sides are also pretty. Lots of neutrals. Okay, so quick reminder, tomorrow we start the holiday catalog. Um, you can, everybody can order from it as of tomorrow. Also, I have my designer paper share that is filling up as we speak. A few weeks left on that. If you want in on all 80 sheets of six by six in the designer paper, let me know. Um, well, I do have in my firebugshop.com, this is my um, All About Autumn cards tutorial. So gorgeous, all completely all fun pull cards. This one's a double uh, Dutch door card. And this one is a really neat way to, to fold your designer paper and see both sides. So that is my All About Autumn kit to go or tutorial. You can get either one here. And they ship out at the end of September. Everything is cut but your designer paper. It includes $20 in product in this kit. So this one is the Winter Meadow and they all all of them but this card right here are fun folds as well. Remember you get gems and ribbons and half a pack of designer paper. So these are my two uh, designer paper uh, kits, kits to go in September. So they are, while supplies last, I take orders for them up until about the 18th of the month. Then I order and I prep and I cut out everything and I send it out at the end of each month. So that's how my kits work. And you can see a whole bunch there on my flowerbugshop.com. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching and spending your day with your morning with me. All right, thanks. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.